Hey everyone, welcome to Econosense Linear Regression in Python tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to run linear regression using Python's sklearn library. To begin, let's look at the data. It looks something like this. So we have this CSV file, which contains three columns. The first column being the price of oranges, the second one, the year where the price was recorded, and the third column being the rainfall in the previous year. Before you watch this tutorial, you might want to brush up on some of the concepts involved in linear regression in this video linked above. Now we want to take this file and the data inside of it and put that inside some environment that can read this into Python. So the environment that we are going to use for this tutorial is called Google Collab. Uh, the URL is very simple. It's just collab.research.google.com and we've already started a notebook in, inside of collab and we've given it the name python linear regression.ipynb okay let's start off so as i said we need to first import the data into python and the way we are going to do that is using this library called pandas it's pretty easy to use so let's just dive right into it so i'm going to type import pandas and it's very common for data scientists to import pandas, but then give it the name of PD, just because it's very simple to type PD every time you want a function from pandas instead of typing the whole name. So we're going to do the same. So we've imported pandas. Now let's go ahead and use some method to import the data. So the way we would do this is pd.read underscore CSV. So this is the method that's going to allow us to read CSV files. And then we're going to put some parentheses and inside the parentheses, we have to give the name of the file. We'll call it data.csv. So right now this environment doesn't have the file data.csv. I didn't upload it or anything like that. So uh, it's going to give an error when I um, run this code. So as you can see, it gives me a file not found error. So now let's go and upload our file into this. So I'll go here and try to find my file. Okay, there we go. So we just uploaded our data.csv file here and now it should be accessible to our code right here. So if I run this again, as you can see, it just printed out the entire CSV file for us. But it's now in the form of a pandas data frame. So we can now do a lot of very interesting things with it. But first we need to assign what has been imported to some variable. So I'm just gonna call it data just because it's simple. Now let's um, say we just wanna print out one of the columns, say price. There you go, you just see the price and you also have an index here as you can see okay great this uh, looks really great what if we now wanted to do a regression task let's say let me just print out data again and let's say we want to find out what the price is for any given year so let's just say um, you know we have data till 2018 but we wanted to see the price for 2020 how would we do that the way to do that would be to run a regression with price being the y variable or the dependent variable and year being the x variable or the independent variable so let's go ahead and do that to do that we need to use a library called sklearn we are going to import a very specific model from within sklearn and i'll just type that out for you right now As you can see, the code to import the linear regression model is from sklearn.linearmodel import linear regression. So once we've done that, we can initialize a linear regression model and assign that to a variable name called model. And model has a function called fit 
where you can put in the x and the y variables and it's going to learn the relationships between them so here our model is going to take here and the y variable will be the price so let's run that okay so we hit an error very early on and this error as you can see it says value error expected 2d array but got a 1d array instead so this is a very very common error to get when you're working with uh, pandas numpy and sklearn and all this is saying is that the model expected a certain shape but we gave it another shape they even give you the solution right here so if you read it it says reshape your data either using array dot reshape reshape minus one comma one if your data has a single feature or array dot reshape one comma minus one if it contains a single sample and in our case we know that we are giving a single feature right because we are only looking at year and we're only looking at price so these are single features so we should just go ahead and use this solution okay now with this added in let's run it again okay so now it says the series object has no attribute reshape so basically this object over here a particular column of a pandas data frame is called a series so this doesn't have a reshape function but once we put in dot values it becomes a, a numpy array and that numpy array does have a reshape function so this should work now it uh, ran now let's use our model to predict what the prices of oranges will be in 2020 to do this we'll use a method called predict and i'm going to put in the number 2020 and let's run this oops we run into an error okay so the error here is value error expected 2d array but got a scalar array instead okay so it needs an array and not just an int so let's make it a two dimensional array very simple just by putting these brackets so now we have a two dimensional array here let's run this oh awesome so we get the answer as 1.2479 awesome let's see if this is in line with um, what our data looks like so as you can see the price is 1.39 for 2018 and our prediction was 1.24 so it's kind of in the same ballpark so this is a, uh, a pretty good model i must say now instead of doing prediction on just a single uh, data point let's try to make a broad prediction on all the past data as well as some future data and try to plot that out for any kind of data visualization matplotlib is one of the most commonly used libraries in python so let's just go ahead and import that library import matplotlib.pyplot as plt so just like how we call pandas pd we're going to call this thing as plt and use its methods okay so we are going to use the scatter method to first just plot out the points in um, from the data the y values are going to be the price as before and the x price is the x will be the year okay let's go ahead and fill this okay awesome so this is what our data looks like we have the years in the x-axis and the price over here as you can see over over the years the price has been trending upward this looks great now in the same graph let's plot out what the predictions from our model look like
So um, this won't work as is. So we'll have to do a, uh, the exact same trick that we did before, where we reshape the values for the model to be able to run the regression. Okay, this looks amazing. So the blue points are the observed data, and the orange points are the predicted points from our model. So our model is not that bad. As you can see, it roughly follows um, the observed data. And only in the last years do we see an abnormally high increase in the price year on year. But otherwise, this very simple model actually fits the observed data pretty well. While this looks great, we can actually do a little bit better because we have more data. We do have that one column in our data set on the previous year's rainfall. So maybe this data can help us predict the price a little bit better than just fitting a trend line based on the time passed. So let's try and do that. So once again, we're going to retrain our model and the Y will remain the same because we still want to know what the prices are, but the X variable will now be different since we're going to add rainfall alongside here. And we might, we no longer need the reshape because it will be a two dimensional array since there are two columns now. Okay, let's run this. Ooh, repeat a mistake. So it looks like we, we hit an error and the fix to this error is just adding these brackets, additional brackets. Pandas is a little weird that way, but if we run this now, we see that our regression model actually fit the data. And now it's time for us to make some more predictions and plotting. So let's predict on 2020 once again with this new model. There we go. Okay, as you can see, the, the problem here is that we fit the model with two variables, but we're only giving one data point here. So what we need to do actually is to give it also a rainfall. So um, I don't know what the rainfall is. So let's just say uh, 40. Let's just say this is what the previous rainfall is. There we go. We have a prediction. So that looks great. Let's now predict for the entire range. And plot it out. I'm doing these changes here as well. Let's run. Oops. Okay. So the blue blue points again are observed and the orange ones are predicted and as you can see they they're, they're not it's not a straight line anymore like before because it, it's not constrained to be linear in time okay great so we just ran uh, two regressions and we also plotted out the output of the regression alongside the observed data how about we now make this graph just a little prettier by adding access labels. So the way you would do this is just plt.xlabel and you would put in a string. And in our case, this is going to be the year. And let's put in a y label as well. In our case, this would be the price of oranges. Okay, 
let's just run this. So as you can see, we have our Y label and our X label here. There are many other things that you can do uh, to make it more fancy. How about we also put a legend to show that the orange points are predicted and the blue points are observed. So let's just go in here and then put in labels here. So this would be this would be our observed. And this would be our predicted. And we can also tell Matplot to put the legend in the upper left column. Let's see what this does. Okay, awesome. So here you go, we have a legend, we have labels, and we have this really beautiful graph right here, which you can put in a report, or show to your boss, or put in your dissertation. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. As I said, if the concepts in this are not very clear to you, then you should definitely go and watch our previous video on linear regression, which kind of goes into the theory and the motivations for linear regression. And also make sure to like, subscribe and comment so that we can continue making awesome content for you guys. Thanks a lot.